Hi, this is Dr. Bernstein of Dr. Bernstein's Diabetes University. Uh, today we're going to be talking briefly about COVID vaccine because we've had a number of inquiries, especially since my last announcement about my experience with blood sugar effects from the vaccine. Uh, I had announced uh, perhaps a month or two ago that I had a day and a half of constant low blood sugars after taking the first of the um, Pfizer vaccine shots. I didn't get it after my second shot, but I had this experience after the first and I announced it. And then we got many replies from viewers and I also had experiences with my patients because by now all of my patients except those under the age of 16 and one patient in Brazil have had their uh, vaccinations and I've been getting reports. And indeed, I do have some patients who complain of uh, low blood sugars, uh, sore arms, sometimes flu-like symptoms. I have patients uh, and viewers who have no complaints, who get their shot and nothing uh, adverse happens. Some who uh, will get high blood sugars after the shot. Um, it's unpredictable whether you get the high blood sugars or the low blood sugars after the first shot or the second shot, or if you're getting um, uh, a single shot uh, like the Johnson & Johnson shot. Um, some people will get high blood sugars, some will get low blood sugars, some will have no change in blood sugars. So it appears to be a totally unpredictable situation. I've had no one complain of uh, hazardous uh, events. However, uh, all of my patients who take insulin are using uh, Dexcom continuous glucose monitors, so they get warnings if they're going to go low. And um, uh, it looks like the diabetics are uh, getting by successfully, but many of them are getting high blood sugars, many are getting low, and many are having no blood sugar changes. We have had several inquiries, or I should say many inquiries, about what about giving vaccine to small children under the age of 16. Well, in the USA, the reason that vaccinations for young children have not been approved yet is because there have not been adequate studies of vaccinations for young children. Uh, I assume that uh, studies are in process. I'm not any better informed than the general public, but my guess is that studies are being done and that when it appears that uh, one or more vaccines are safe and effective for young children, they'll be approved. So, uh, Let's just wait to see the uh, after the testing's been done.